What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we weren't able to check out Monday Night Raw tonight uh, for the live stream, but I was able to check out some of the highlights uh, that you guys have sent me on Twitter, and I was just able to check it out separately. Um, we should be able to stream SmackDown this week, so be on the lookout for that, man. It's just uh, today we were all kind of busy, so we didn't really have enough time to be back at our cribs to start up the stream. But nevertheless, we will be available for SmackDown this Friday, so be on the lookout for that. But we got to talk about, obviously, the thing that you guys have been hitting me up with on Twitter is Rhea Ripley's new championship belt design. She is no longer on Monday Night Raw walking around with the SmackDown championships. She now has pretty much the World Heavyweight Championship design as Seth Rollins has, but this time with the white strap. Uh, she is uh, the new Women's World Champion or whatnot, and Asuka is uh, the Women's Undisputed Champion, which is an interesting thing so we got the women's uh world champion on raw and the women's undisputed champion on smackdown because they didn't want them to swap the titles or whatnot so they came up with different names and designs or whatnot and i have to be honest with you i don't have a problem with this design only because i already like the world heavyweight championship the design the new design they came up with um uh, for the men's championship so them just doing the same thing for the women's it's like i mean you could say it's lazy it kind of is well it's not even kind of is it is lazy but at the same time it still looks good i like that belt just in general so that belt with the white strap i actually like so i'm, I'm not even gonna sit over here and uh, you know criticize it too much because it does not look bad honestly it does not look bad at all it's just they just copied and pasted what we got with uh, the men's title. So I didn't really expect nothing much anyway, but it at least that design that they went with looks doesn't look that bad. And I guess you can say it's essentially like the women's uh, version of the Goldie Belt or the World Heavyweight Championship. So it's not a problem for me. Rhea looks good with it. And I have to talk about the fact that when she received it, before she even got the championship, the crowd was just calling her mommy, just going crazy for her. And um, she got a big, big standing ovation, a big pop when she received the, the new championship and she was holding it up. Like the crowd went crazy for her. And it's, it's an interesting thing. She is a heel still, but the fans love her. It is so great. Her joining Judgment Day has been one of the best things for her main roster career because it has catapulted her to the top of the women's division there's no denying that and then when dom runs out there bro the booze he was getting it brought the heel heat back to Rhea. it was so good he was cheering and, and he, he put the belt on her and whatnot and the booze he was getting was fantastic Rhea started catching residual heat like let let you know let dom speak and all this other stuff it was great their pairing is fantastic them pairing dominic with Rhea has been the, one of the best decisions they've ever made for these two individuals and it's catapulted them catapulted them to to the stars man like dominic is one of if not the hated the most hated guy in wrestling right now getting the most heel heat that we've seen you know what i'm saying in wwe for sure and Rhea. When she's not with Dom, she gets a lot of baby face reactions. When she's with Dom, they hate her just as much. You know, I I, I appreciate that dynamic they have with them. Um, so after Adam Pierce gave her the championship, the new belt, Dominic comes out there to celebrate. Then you hear Cody Rose music hit. Crowd going crazy for him. Cody is still one of the top baby faces in the company, despite him not winning at um uh, at uh, WrestleMania this uh, this year, he's still up there, and everywhere he goes, the fans still chant his song and and uh, want to see him. He gets a good pop every time, so he comes out there, and he's basically just kind of reliving what happened last week. He gives Rhea props. He's reliving what happened last week or uh, whatnot with Dominic slapping him, and he pretty much was like, "You know what? Let's have a match." Let's have a match. You thought I was going to let this go? No, no. Let's have a match. And Money in the Bank, me versus you. 
or whatnot. And Dominic was really apprehensive. He let Rhea kind of take over the segment. And, you know, it was one of those type of things where he's still hiding behind Rhea or whatnot. And then um, he's supposed to have a match with The Miz later on that night, uh, later on the night. And The Miz tried to attack him from behind. And he ends up, you know, catching The Miz. But then Dominic, of course, being Dominic, hits him, you know, uh, hits him from behind or whatnot. And he runs out the ring with uh, Rhea and they're laughing. And it's one of those type of things where it's like, uh, you know, Dominic getting that good old Dominic heel heat. Uh, but they have made the match official. Dominic Mysterio versus Cody Rose. That's going to be a fun match. I'm not going to lie to you. That's going to be a fun match for a multitude of reasons. One, I think that UK crowd is going to be fantastic the entire show. They are going to boo Dominic out of the building. Anything that Cody does, they're going to love to death. They're going to rain nothing but boos on Dominic. And my prediction, I know some of you guys say I got the script, the WWE script. No, I just think it makes sense. My prediction, I would have Cody lose. Not clean, of course. Not because Dominic just out-wrestled him. No, I would have Brock interfere, which causes Cody to get the cheap win. And when he gets the cheap win... The crowd is going to go insane. They're going to give out more boos. He's going to get nuclear heel heat. And what you can do with that, because it plays into Dominic's character as the chicken shit heel, he's going to talk trash. I beat Cody Rhodes. I beat Cody Rhodes. Not He's going to ignore the fact that Brock would have assisted him in beating Cody Rhodes, but I beat Cody Rhodes and he's going to keep talking about that. And I think that is going to be a interesting dynamic. It's going to give him even more heel heat other than, you know, him just disrespecting his father. Now he can add that to his repertoire of, I beat you, Cody. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm the guy around here. So I think Brock's going to get involved and cost Cody the match, which will ultimately set up their match at, um, SummerSlam or whatnot. Apparently, Cody's titanium vibranium cast will allow him to continue to wrestle. So, because I'm thinking he was going to miss off on this pay per view for per storyline injuries, but you know, I guess the cast is strong enough for him to go out there and wrestle. I mean, he wrestled on Monday Night Raw and got the win over the Miz. So, it's going to be interesting, but I do think that's going to be a fun match. Could be, uh, I think it's going to be a good match. Crowd's going to be very energetic, and I have. Dominic winning with the interference from Brock Lesnar. So that was a cool little segment, you know, cool little opening segment. I um, also got to talk about uh, Seth Rollins and his interaction with Finn Balor. Um, someone has sent me the clip and I actually ended up watching it. Their whole promo interaction was pretty much taken over by the crowd chanting Seth Rollins theme song. Anytime Finn Balor's talking on a the mic, they're just, whoa, whoa, just the entire time until Seth got on the microphone. That is crazy. That's insane. I don't know if the crowd was consistently lit like that, but the clips that I did see, the crowd was energetic. So maybe they did have a good crowd tonight. You guys let me know as well. But that whole segment, Finn Balor, you could barely hear him because the crowd kept pretty much ruining it. Only they only wanted to hear what Seth had to say. And um, what Seth had to say was very important. Finn Balor's just trying to, you know, go down the list of, you know, him being the first universal champion and dealing with what he had to deal with facing Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins, he kind of he, he kind of let him know, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, look, I get it. You know, when you face me, you know what I'm saying? You, you put up a hell of a fight. I will say this, if this Finn Balor that I'm looking at right now tries to face me at uh, Money in the Bank, I'm going to beat you easily, pretty much. But if the Finn Balor whose shoulder was damn near hanging off his body and the guy that beat me to become the first ever Universal Champion faces me at Money in the Bank, that guy may have a chance. And before you walked off, because this guy right here, I mean, honestly, you know what I'm saying? This guy right here don't stand a chance. I mean, you've been walking around like a little bitch. And I was like, oh, 
little spicy, little little spice to it. I'm, I'm like, okay, I think they're gonna have a good match. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I do still think Seth will retain, but I am looking forward to that match. And then apparently Seth has <laughs> issued an open challenge for his World Heavyweight Championship next week on Monday Night Raw, conveniently when uh, Logan Paul is supposed to return. So I don't know. Do we see an impromptu Logan Paul World Heavyweight Championship match on television with Seth Rollins? I wouldn't mind seeing that. Run it back. Let's go. I'm down for that. I think that'll be interesting. So we'll see if, if that plays out. And then I wanted to make mention to talk about this spe specific segment. And I, I don't know if you guys have been noticing. It's a Judgment Day segment. Uh, Damian Priest is in the back talking with Finn Balor. And if you guys hadn't, um, when Finn Balor, uh, Damian Priest was going against Seth Rollins, um, I believe that was last week for the open challenge match or whatnot. Damian Priest was making it. He was like, I don't need nobody. I don't need Finn. I can handle it on my own. And Finn felt some kind of way about that. So I believe Damian Priest does win his qualifying match to be in Money in the Bank tonight. Uh, well, he did win. Uh, and Finn Balor gets his title opportunity. And you can see there's like some, it's like some dissension there. They're not all on the same page. Well, at least Damian Priest in Finn Balor and I like that story that they're telling because he's like I don't know if Seth is messing with your head it's kind of caused a wedge between us but you need to get the job done and be over with this get the job done become the new world heavyweight champion or whatnot and it's really I'm, I'm liking the story they're telling there I don't know if they're going to go that route of having Finn Balor leave the group or you know cause some dissension between damian priest and finn Balor to the point where they start fighting i don't know yet but they're planting seeds so we will see what happens with that going forward but i definitely wanted to mention that don't know if you guys have seen that is them two Rhea and dominic they're good Rhea dominic and damian priest is good it's like finn Balor, he's like the odd man out and it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in this match will that change his perspective on things uh, the match he has with Seth Rollins for the title and Money in the Bank should be a good match as well. Um, I also want to talk about one, one more thing. Kevin Owens, <laughs> it seems like every week, any backstage segment Kevin Owens has, he's just raging and I love it. Um, he was supposed to, they were supposed to have him, uh, well, they ended up having a match. It was just going to be a standard tag team match um, between uh, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and uh, I, I, I keep forgetting the guy's other name but um gunther was gonna be his tag team partner since uh <laughs> Sami Zayn caused the other guy baldy got taken out by matt riddle i believe last week and so now they are you know gunther's in stand uh it's gonna stand with his uh with his tag team uh with his partner in from imperium and the guy the other guy says you know hey you know what i'm saying if you're so big and bad why don't you put the tag team titles on the line? And Kevin Owens was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. We'll put the tag team titles on the line. If it gives me a chance to keep both y'all guys' asses, I'm down for it. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this, because obviously shenanigans ensued. Matt Riddle comes out there because I believe uh, Walt, uh, Gunther got involved in Matt Riddle's match, qualifying match with Damian Priest, which caused him to lose or whatnot. And they attacked him. So he goes out there. Officials trying to stop him. He's about to get involved in their match for the tag titles. <laughs> I like how Gunther casually walks out there and gives him a boot. Just gives Matt Riddle a boot for all his trouble. Kevin Owens comes out there, uh, gives him, I believe it was like a DDT onto the onto the steel ramp or whatnot. And then as the other guy is distracted, Sami Zayn's in there. And Sami Zayn hits the blue thunder bomb for the win. And I was like... Mm, chef's kiss that was great oh my god it's not many times he wins the match with the blue thunder bomb but he won the match with it and it was beautiful i love it we need to see more of that i'm all i'm okay with the luva kick but we need to see more of the blue thunder bomb winning him matches please such a beautiful move underrated definitely should be a finishing move because it looks so good but damn it was good to see that so i had to mention that but overall from the stuff that i've seen 
it was quite it seemed like it was a pretty enjoyable raw you guys let me know down below what did you guys think of monday night raw tonight and also do you like rhea ripley's new uh women's um um women's world championship let me know how you guys feel about the design are you in favor of it are you not in favor of it do you think it's it's cool or do you think it's just lazy because they're copying seth rollins championship let me know how y'all feel about it but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm seeing speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace